all viruses, including SARS-CoV-2, that causes COVID-19 disease mutate over time. Most mutations have little or no effect, but some can influence properties of viruses, including how easily they spread, the severity of the disease they cause, and their resistance to vaccines. Since the COVID-19 outbreak first began in Wuhan in late December 2019, the evolution of the causative agent SARS-CoV-2 has led to variants of concern and of interest. A variant of concern is one for which there is evidence of an increase in transmissibility, more severe disease, example, increased hospitalizations or deaths, significant reduction in neutralization by antibodies generated during previous infection or vaccination, or reduced effectiveness of treatments or vaccines. These are the alpha, beta, gamma, and delta variants. Variants of interest are those associated with reduced effects of the antibodies generated against previous infection or vaccination, reduced efficacy of treatments, or predicted increase in transmissibility or disease severity. Current variants of interest are Eta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, and Mu. Variants of concern in St. Lucia. Alpha. The Alpha variant is also referred to as the UK variant, as the first cases were seen in the United Kingdom. In St. Lucia, the Alpha variant was first identified in mid-December 2020 amongst locals and one UK resident. Observation of our epidemiological curve indicates that this finding was the trigger for the increased number of cases experienced during our second wave, which lasted from December 2020 to February 2021. The Alpha variant can also be considered a de-escalated variant, as it has been circulating for a while without any impact on the overall epidemiological situation. To date, 54 cases of the Alpha variant have been confirmed in country. Delta. The Delta variant, also referred to as the India variant. The Delta variant was identified in St. Lucia in mid-August 2021. And since then, we have seen an exponential increase in infections and mortality. This is consistent with data from other countries which show that 1. Delta thus far is more contagious. The Delta variant is highly contagious, about 130% more contagious than previous variants. 2. The Delta variant might cause more severe illness than previous variants in unvaccinated people. External data shows that the vast majority of infections, hospitalizations, and death is amongst unvaccinated people. 3. Unvaccinated people remain the greatest concern. The greatest risk of transmission is among unvaccinated people, who are much more likely to get infected and therefore transmit the virus. Fully vaccinated people get COVID-19, known as breakthrough infections, less often than unvaccinated people. 4. Fully vaccinated people with Delta variant breakthrough infections can spread the virus to others. However, vaccinated people appear to spread the virus for a shorter time. To date, three cases of the Delta variant have been confirmed in country. The Mu variant. Mu, which was first identified in Colombia in January 2021 and is known scientifically as B1.621, was classified earlier this month as a variant of interest by the World Health Organization. The Mu1 being potentially more of concern because of the potential increased immune escape that it may show. Though there is not much data on the Mu variant, the Epidemiology Unit in the Ministry of Health is monitoring the data on this variant as it has been identified in the neighboring islands of Grenada and St. Vincent. The Mu variant has not been identified in St. Lucia. Despite all variants that exist, the data informs that the best protection in the fight against COVID-19 is the vaccine, coupled with the protocols of washing hands frequently, wearing of masks in public places, and social distances. Failure to adhere to this advice will result in the increase in infection, hospitalizations, and death. The Ministry of Health continues to advise persons to vaccinate and follow the protocols so as to give them the best chance against this virus. <music>